What's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be doing the weekly recap of the stat modeling strategy. And today is May 1st of 2021. The market had an interesting week this week. We saw some amazing earnings reports from huge companies like Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon. And a lot of these companies actually reported amazing earnings, but we saw the stock market really flat in a lot of these companies that reported amazing earnings actually fell off for example microsoft i actually had a nice size pullback this week apple reported amazing earnings they're falling off right now amazon reported really good earnings too they are up uh, just a little bit but they're they have like a lot of uh, uh negative momentum you can say they actually finished down on friday so yeah, we had a pretty interesting week. In today's video, we're going to be recapping all of the plays, um, just seeing how everything's going uh, since March 1st. So since March 1st till now, here are all of the plays right here. Um, basically, if you put uh, $500 in each play, you would be up around $316 in profit. Uh, so that would be like around like 10 and a half percent return on a $3,000 account. This week was okay. Uh, we really just had a pretty decent sized loss with uh, GLD. Uh, we were swing trading it. I want to say, was it like Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday? We were swing trading it over here and it just tanked right before open. And it was just, uh, that was a bad trade. We had a decent trade with JP Morgan. Um, it was like a 15% winner, which is good to see. Obviously, it wasn't a home run or anything like that. But it was a, it was a good trade overall. And then we are holding T, CCIV, and then Palantir. They're not leaps, but they, uh, they're definitely, they definitely have a lot of time with them. And they should end up working out just fine. A lot of these high growth stocks are really pulling back, like Palantir, NIO, CCIV, you could even say Tesla. There's just a lot of stocks really pulling back right now. A lot of stocks that people were really investing in, uh, you know, like towards the end of last year. And just really, yeah, towards the end of last year are really pulling back right now. So uh, with this pullback, they're still good companies. But uh, overall, these long-term options should do just fine. Um, I remember with Bank of America options, we picked up long-term options on November 9th of uh, 2020, and we ended up closing them out, uh, like I want to say, like, uh, two months ago, maybe three months ago, and it ended up being like one of one of the best trades actually of like the past, I don't know, maybe past six months. So um, with these long-term options, sometimes you're going to have some chop and consolidation. But, uh, you know, in general, you just got to give them some time. Uh, Bank of America, I think we, yeah, we got in the call leaps on November 9th. And they actually pulled back for a couple days. And they didn't do anything for a couple weeks. And, uh, you know, a lot, a lot, like my main uh, point is sometimes with these long-term options, they just need a little bit of time. So with T, CCIV, and Palantir, I still love the setups. But, uh, you know, it's got to give them some time. T actually had um, some great movement towards the end of the week. We can see that they popped up on earnings on the 22nd, and then they pulled back for like two days. But they actually, uh, it actually really popped up on Thursday and Friday. We can see in the middle of, or actually in the beginning of the day on Friday, it sank down, but we had the buyers come in and really bring the stock back up. And it closed green, which was awesome to see. It had a really nice close too. So it's great to see. Um, overall, I still like the setups. Uh, what's been working through all markets is the theta strategy so cash secured puts uh, they have been working amazing like literally um this is assuming a ten thousand collateral per um uh, premium selling strategy and that would have resulted in around a thirty seven hundred dollar profit almost thirty eight hundred dollars um if you're not doing anything with premium selling i would highly recommend um, maybe at least starting to research it. Um, really, if you do it correctly, it is a win-win. And you don't really have to worry about like exiting the position, times on your side, and literally like the odds are in your favor. Um, the only thing is, look, at, it's not going to make you rich, but it'll definitely help you grow your account if you do it correctly. So I highly, highly recommend looking into some premium selling strategies. There's a lot of great opportunities for that in the market right now. NIO is good. CCIV is good. Palantir is good. Microsoft's good. Enphase is good. There's so many good ones. So I really, you know, really, really recommend looking into some cash secured puts or maybe even some like put credit spreads or call credit spreads or even with the rest of earnings season, maybe some iron condors. Uh, just as a, uh, just a suggestion. But uh, overall, those uh, the premium selling strategies tend to work very well in basically any market. 
And the worst thing that could happen is, like, especially when you're selling puts, is you just have to buy shares at a relatively low price. So uh, overall, things are, are going good. Uh, we didn't have like a home run week, but things are going good. Overall, we are still green, um, which is awesome to see. So uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to learn more about the strategy, you can click the first link in the description down below. But other than that, thanks for watching.